unconscious for a hundred years. He prayed four rakas of prayer in thankfulness. So Prophet Uzair's four rakas marks our Asr prayer. Now let's come to the three rakas of Maghrib. Now this is really interesting as there was no concept of odd cycles in prayer. So where did these three rakas come from? Let me tell you. Sayyidina Ayyub alayhi salam remained seriously ill for a long time. Some traditions reported that it was 18 years while others say it was 24 years. When he was cured, he was very weak at the time. He stood up to pray to show gratitude towards God. Now he intended to pray for rakas but when he reached three he was so weak he couldn't stand up for the fourth. He left the fourth and completed the prayer with three. As soon as he had finished, a voice from the heavens was heard. Although he left the fourth cycle because of his weakness, but it was almost sunset. And so the whole Ummah will celebrate his three cycles to the day of judgment. Now, the remaining is Isha. Let me tell you, it's the celebration of the Sunnah of the last Prophet of God, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. So our daily prayers are actually ritual celebrations. Now, coming to whether the Prophet وسلم, himself celebrating his birthday during his lifetime. Yes. Although this is a very broad topic, but time is running out, so I'll quote quickly. This this comes in a Sahih Hadith of Sunan Bihaqi. That the Holy Prophet وسلم, on, on that specific day, on his birthday in Medina, slaughtered two animals, called the people, prepared food and distributed it. It was a party. He arranged a dinner for the people. And this hadith, remember, is never refuted because scholars have derived some other jurisprudential arguments for, from it. And now, write down the References. I'm now gonna quote Jalaluddin Suyuti's Al Hasan ul Maqsid fi Amali Maulid, page 63. And, and again, Suyuti Al Hadi lil Fatah. Imam Zurkani, Sharhul Mawahib, and then Ahmad and many other scholars. Now, what, what, what does Imam Jalaluddin Suyuti write? Imam Jalaluddin Suyuti answers the refuters of Maulid. He says, Then what was this celebration that day? He says categorically, this was the celebration of his Mawlid, Milad, birthday. To make it a sunnah for his ummah to celebrate their own birthdays, and as well as the 12th of Rabi ul Awwal, the Prophet's birthday. Now, then Imam Jalaluddin Suyuti says, Hafiz ibn Hajar al-Skalani was asked. Now, who's Hafiz ibn Hajar al-Skalani? The Shaykh islam the great Shari of Sahih Bukhari. Who has written Fathul Bari and Fathul Bari is used in the, is used um, in the Dars e Nizami too. He was a Shafi scholar. He was asked, "What is your opinion regarding Maulid birthday of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam?" Now Imam Jalaluddin Suyuti is quoting Imam Ibn Hajar as Kalani. He replied, "Hafiz Ibn Hajar as Kalani, the great muhaddis of the Ummah, that the celebration of Maulid according to me is." It's self-established through a prophetic hadith. 